Hi, today I'm going to show you how to calculate standard deviation variance and sample mean on the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. There are essentially two simple steps to calculate these statistics. Firstly, you enter the data in the data worksheet, then you retrieve the statistics from the statistics worksheet. We'll use an example to help us. Over a five year period, an investment into an S&P 500 ETF provides the following returns over a five year period. Year one, 7%, year two, 20%, year three, minus 13%, year four, 3%, and year five, 11%. So what is the standard deviation, the variance, and the mean of the returns of this investment? First of all, we have to enter the numbers into the data worksheet. So we press second data, and then as usual, second clear work to make sure that there's no other data in there from previous calculations. So the first number we want in is the number seven. Enter for the 7% return. Make sure that you just put the number seven, put it as a whole number, don't put it in as a percentage. The, um, the calculator just requires a whole number. And then press down twice, reflect past the Y value, they just get left as one. So then 20, enter as the X2 for the second year. And down twice again. And for year three, it's 13 and press, press the plus minus button, enter because it's a minus figure and then down arrow twice again to enter the number three, enter for the 3% in the fourth year, and down arrow twice again to enter the number 11, enter for the fifth year. And then second quit to exit the data worksheet. Now the next step is to go into the statistics worksheet. So second statistic takes you into the statistic worksheet. Now it defaults to the standard linear regression, which we don't want. So we need to flip through second set. We don't need LN, the logarithmic re um, regression. And flip through exponential, we don't want that either. And we don't want the power. What we want is 1v, which is for one variable statistic, which is exactly what we need for this. So then we just press the down arrow and it gives us n, which is the number of observations which we entered, which was 5. So that's correct. Down arrow again, and it gives us the sample mean, which is 5.6 in this example. And then down arrow again and that gives us a sample standard deviation of 12.16 to two decimal places. Now to get the um, variance, all you need to do is square. So X to the two, and that gives you the sample variance in, um, in this example. Now we weren't looking for these numbers in this example, but the computer will give you a few extra numbers if you arrow down, then it gives you the population standard deviation. It gives you the sum of the different observations. And it also gives you the sum of the square of the different observations. As, as, as I say, we don't, um, we weren't looking for these numbers in this, um, in this question, but it may be helpful for you to know that. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a wonderful day.